that's something that should be saved for very special. <gasps> oh, there's a spider! I get that on Spider Man, but. Oh! I hate spiders. Oh, God. Okay, I I'm gonna move a little bit. That's disgusting. It's currently five o'clock and I'm starting today's vlog now and I don't have anything planned for today and I don't want to stay in this room so I'm probably gonna go out and film a Q&A outside because I think you guys are sick of seeing this room like every single vlog so I think it'd be nice to have a change of scenery. Okay, it's Q&A time. So for this week's Q&A, I asked you guys to comment any questions you have about having a crush. And you guys left some really good questions and I'm gonna answer them right now. So the first question is, who is my crush? Um, how do I answer that question? I'm trying to keep that a bit low key right now because I don't want to like put that all out in the world just because I don't think she's comfortable with it yet and I don't think I'm comfortable putting that out there yet just in case, you know. I don't know. I, I just don't want to put anything out there. The second question is, do we know her? No, you guys don't know her. The third question is, is she from my country? No, she's not. She's actually an international student. The follow-up question was, is she my friend or something? Yeah, she's like my best friend and there isn't anything I will not do for her right now. Hey my bestie, my question is different and I'm sorry for it. Is it okay if your GF talks with a guy or guys related to study or anything like I get jealous, so what should I do? Um, jealousy is something that you have to overcome yourself because you have to put your entire trust in your partner and your girlfriend or boyfriend should be able to have friends of the opposite gender and if you don't allow that then that is just an issue with yourself and you need to fix that because you need to be able to trust your partner to have like friends of the opposite sex that's not a bad thing to have you know friends that are the opposite gender you should be able to have uh, friends that are opposite gender because that's how you have new perspectives and that's how you grow as a person by having people that are not the same gender as you so if you're having um, issues with your own jealousy that's something you have to work on with yourself and have to overcome by yourself and just understand that your significant other is not going to cheat on you. And if they are, then that's a whole different issue. It's so cold right now, I'm sorry if I keep sniffling. It's so cold. Okay, moving on. Um, what if I have a crush on multiple people? If you have a crush on multiple people, that's okay. I think having a crush on multiple people is an okay thing as long as you don't, you know, get a significant other and you still have those crushes. But having crushes on multiple people, that's completely an okay thing, a completely normal thing to have. How do I know if it's a crush or just admiration for them? Um, a crush versus admiration is like a very thin line. And when you admire someone, it's different because when you admire someone, that's not like, you know, romantic feelings for that person. As opposed to a crush, you have romantic feelings for this person and you can see yourself, you know, romantically dating this person or having romantic feelings for this person as when you admire someone that could just be for like different reasons like I admire like different youtubers that doesn't mean I have a crush on them how many crushes have I had over time I have had a lot of crushes over time and they've been like a lot of small crushes like I've had a lot of like you know classroom crushes or like you know I've had a lot of gym crushes before but like these are crushes that like I've never really like talked to these people before I kind of just like admire from afar what do you do if your crush is dating someone? Um, you should not pursue that person because that person's already in a relationship and you should not do anything about that. You can like still have that crush on the inside but you shouldn't really do anything to like home wreck. But if that, you know, feeling of having a crush on that someone that does have a relationship with someone is like bothering you, 
you should do something like you should probably confess your feelings to them because it's better than just like letting those feelings just die out in my opinion i know it's a controversial opinion to have but i think it's better to just like let that feelings be known and just be able to move on with your life so you said someone else stole your heart romantically will we ever see them or have we seen them that's a good question um okay i talked about this with this person and i'm not going to show their face on the vlog yet um you guys have not seen them yet but they're gonna be on the vlog probably just i'm not gonna show their face for you know privacy reasons and whatnot this person asked a whole list of questions but i've answered a lot of them already um but what do i feel when i get sad this is not like a crush lady question but i will still answer it because it's still a very good question to answer sometimes i get sad for no reason but usually most of the times when i do get sad I just feel very defeated and I feel like I have no motivation to do anything. And when that happens, I do my best to just get myself out of that dark spot. I go to the gym, I do my best to reach out to people that care about me, and I just do my best to do whatever I can to stop feeling so sad. And But one important thing I do let myself do, I let myself feel sad for a little bit because I think it's important to feel sad for a certain amount of time, just not for too long. What type of vibe do I get when I talk to you? And last but not least, do I ever irritate you? No, you don't irritate me and I think you're a great person. That's the vibe I get and I can see myself being friends with you. And the last question that I got was, how do you tell if you just have a crush or if you're in love? Well, okay, when you're in love, that's a much deeper and much complex feeling than having a crush, for sure. And I think when you have a crush, it's just like, when you have a crush, you're okay with like letting that feeling go. But when you're in love with someone, you are not okay with letting that feeling go. And you want to do everything you can to pursue that feeling and also um, show that feeling of love to that person. Being in love is something that is a very great feeling to have. And if you ever have the opportunity to feel that, then I encourage that by all means. Being in love is such a great feeling. I, if you ever, you know, have the chance to experience love, you are so lucky and it's just such a feeling that, it's such a unique feeling and such a scary feeling too. I've talked about this in the video essay before, but there's no better or worse feeling than love. I think of it like this. Um, there's two steps and that's having a crush and being in love. When you're in love, when you have a crush, that's very surface level and that's something you can easily just move past. And when you're in love, that's such a deep and emotional feeling that you can't really, you know, give up. And that's something that should be saved for very special. <gasps> oh, there's a spider! I get that on Spider-Man, but oh, I hate spiders. Oh God. Okay. I'm gonna move a little bit, that's disgusting. Okay, but I hope that made sense, and I hope that answer gave you the clarification you needed to determine if you have a crush or you're in love. And you'll know if you're in love, by the way. You will know for a fact you are. Like, you're gonna know. And that was all the questions that you guys asked. Thank you guys so much for asking me all these great questions. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun answering all these questions for you guys, and I hope to do more of these Q and A's in season two of the vlog, but this is gonna be the second to last Q&A that I ever do for season one. And I'm gonna go home now because it's freezing and I'm starving right now. And speaking of crushes, um, hers actually coming next semester and that is like the biggest thing I've been looking forward to like every single day of like this entire past semester. It's just, there's so much excitement happening for next semester and I can't wait to show you guys like what I'm going to be up to and the changes that are going to be happening. There's going to be a lot of change and I am really excited to show you guys it. And I'm really excited to finally start, you know, actually hang out with her. Oh God, I'm just, there's so much, there's so much, there's so many good things happening and I just can't continue my excitement for it. Oh my God.
So I was on my way back and I just see all this traffic. That, that sucks. That's another terrible thing about Boston. The traffic here is terrible. And as of recently, it's been like super bad. I don't even know why. Guys, if any of you guys know why the traffic's been so bad lately, let me know down in the comments below. Also, I'm gonna stop vlogging for a little bit. I'm like really hungry and it's like, it's getting to me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put away the camera. Okay, I actually finally got to eat food. I am really relieved now. Um, I'm sorry if I was panicking earlier. Uh, when I get hungry, I get very hangry. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, though, I'm going to end the vlog here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.